Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today we're gonna to take a look at the key differences between Samsung messages and Android messages. Which one is better and how do they differ? As of right now, my main default text messaging application that I'm using is Android messages, and the only reason is because of the newly added chat features that came with that new RCS update. So you can have read and sent and delivered receipts, sending larger files and everything else. But there's a lot of things that I love about Samsung messages, and really I can switch between the two and be completely happy. Now the first thing that you'll notice between Samsung messages and Android messages is the way that it's set up on the main conversation view. So this one has Samsung messages, which this one is a part of the Samsung One UI, which makes it easier for you to hold onto the phone and do all of your operations with one hand meaning it says messages on the top, but there's no messages up there, making it super easy for me to get to my very last conversation. It's just right there. Yes, I am able to have it go all the way to the top so I can see more, but when I bring it down, I can go to that most recent conversation. Now, when it comes down to Android messages, it's not a part of the One UI. Uh, it is a Google application, so that means I have to go all the way to the top and reach it with my thumb, extending it all the way up. Now let's take a fast gander at the settings right over here, the more settings. We won't go in depth because the main important stuff is inside of actually shooting a text message. So on the more settings or the more options on the top, you have edit, which on this one over here, you can select multiple different conversations. You can delete and also mute or turn off the notifications. You also have your starred messages, which is one of the main cool features of Samsung messages. Anytime you run into a conversation or a sentence that is super important, you can see that you can find it within a couple seconds. This one was a comment or a conversation from July 11th, letting me know a date and a time of some thing happening. Now, how you're able to do that is actually really simple. Let's say that this one right here was super important. Press and hold on that little conversation and then you can go to star message. And then you're able to find it really fast by going into starred messages, going into that conversation, and there you go. You can find it really fast, really simple, uh, and Android messages does not really offer that. The closest things that they have is two different things. The first one is you can archive, but you're going to archive the entire conversation with that person, which means you still have to go all the way back to find that one little comment. The other thing you can also do is, let's say we go inside of a conversation, you can press and hold and you can set a reminder. Now, this one's not gonna really help you when you're trying to figure it out multiple days later on the fly. You can make it to where it'll pop back up and remind you of this comment like tomorrow or the next day or another day in a, in a time, but in a week from now or five months from now, you're not really able to find it because you didn't remind yourself because you didn't know you needed to be reminded. So that's really the most important stuff that's kind of happening on the top here. You know, you can block contacts, you have messages for web on your Android messages. You can go inside of settings and you can also do settings over here too. Uh, but I'm not gonna go in depth on the settings because everything's gonna be different depending on your country and your carrier. Uh, the main important stuff is going to be a part of the actual conversations. So going into a actual conversation, some of the stuff that you're gonna see is on the very top. You can call on each app, you can search for a particular message anywhere inside of this conversation, and you also have more options on the top right-hand side. So over here, you can check out the, you can block a contact, you can change your custom notifications, delete messages, but one of the cool things is you have shared content. Every single GIF or image or video that you send with this person, uh, you're able to see everything right here all in one area, then you're also able to delete or uh, uh, download any of those pictures. Now over here, you have nothing like that on the top. You can check out the details of the conversation. Uh, you can also check out anything that was archived and then you can delete things as well too. So there's a little bit more uh, stuff, a little bit more features happening in Samsung messages than Android messages. Uh, because this one is made by Android, it's gonna be very vanilla. It's very basic stuff. Now let's go over here. Now, one of the things I do wanna make sure you guys know is that this one is the Samsung keyboard. Uh, and then this one is the G board. Now you are able to switch between whatever keyboard you want in any messaging app. So if I want G board to be in Samsung messages, I can. If I wanted my Samsung keyboard to be in Android messages, I can. You just have to download G board. But let's just say that I show you G board. Um, all of this stuff inside of uh, basically the keyboard area, we won't talk about because that's not really part of this video because 
is you can have either keyboard with any application you want. What we're really talking about is gonna be what is right next to where you text and send stuff off. So over here inside of Android messages, you can send off pictures, you can take a picture and go inside of your gallery. And then you also have your little plus button. And with the plus button, this is where you'll see all the differences between Samsung messages. You can search for gifts, you can look at particular gifts of kiss, uh, hello, hug, things like that. So basically you got your GIF row. Here is your stickers. You can send off stickers right here. You can also share your, your location. You can also look for restaurants and movies and weather for the area. And you can do that a part of the conversation. You can send money and also request money. Uh, you can also share a contact and then you can attach a file. So this is some of the stuff that you're able to do here. Now, let's take a look at everything on Samsung Messages, and you'll notice that everything that you can do here, uh, you can also do on this side, but this side has a little bit more of what you're able to do. So all of your images is right there. So you can send your images, uh, just like what we were talking about from before with this little uh, icon there. So you can send your images. Um, you would also be able to have, let's say, um, your camera. So you can send off an image, same thing right there. Here's your location, you can send the location. And then this last option over here is where you have all the rest of everything else. Quick response, which is one thing that this is not able to do. Scheduling a text message, this one is not able to do. You can share a contact, send your images, video, audio, calendar, and Samsung Notes. Now you can see over here that you have all the gifts and you have all these stickers and stuff. So that is what this one right over here is. So if you want to send off a sticker, you have all of these, which is ones that is, you know, preloaded inside of here, as well as your little AR emojis that you can also send off. So really stickers and everything else is going to be pretty much a part of both of them. Now I do want to show you a little small difference of how it's set up with Samsung messages with this newer update and newer cell phone. So we're going to go right over here. We're going to set this one as the default. Let's say we go back and of this conversation here now inside of this one you can see that it's slightly different so let's say that we go right there um, there's the plus button and then there's the plus button but also two other icons uh, and so when you go into this one you can send off an image you can send something off with your camera uh, and then with this plus button, this is how this one is gonna be set up. So let's say we go over to plus here, you can see how it's gonna be slightly different. So this one is only one screen and this one is like four different tabs to do all of that. So this is what it looks like when it's a little bit newer. Again, you can still do quick responses. You can still schedule a text message for maybe tomorrow morning, 3 a.m. when somebody asks you to send them a reminder. You can set up a subject. Here you can send your location, image, video, audio, contacts, calendar, and Samsung notes. So really what you're kind of looking at is inside of Samsung Messages, you have the ability of starring a conversation and finding it later with ease. So if you get sent a lot of information, you always have to go back into a conversation like, hold on, let me I have to try to find this or you try to search, but it still takes you time. If you star it, you can find it within just a couple seconds. You can also do quick responses and send a scheduled message inside of Samsung messages. But if you are using the Android messages, you're gonna have a more vanilla basic type of usage, but it gives you the chat services. So really that's gonna be the biggest differences between the two. If you uh, are messaging somebody who is not a part of RCS messaging, you might as well still use Android messages if you want to, if you wanted the latest features. And since it is being pushed out in bigger updates, uh, you know, every week there's more and more people getting RCS messaging, the chat service, a part of Android messages, you're gonna be able to do that more often. But if you're looking for more customizations, more features, more things like sending um, a scheduled text message, um, replying back with quick, quick responses, you can do it that way. Um, finding the starred communications. So there's a lot of really cool features built inside of Samsung messages that is not over here. Also, when you go on the very top right hand side and you go to the whole shared content, I think this is super cool. So I really hope that maybe Android messages can kind of come off with a little bit more updates to bring some of these features over. Or if Samsung in the future is able to still use Samsung messages and use a Google server to still do RCS and do the chat features. That would be the win, win, win right here for Samsung is using Samsung messages with all of these amazing features, but with the chat services of Google, just using their server. That is my hopes for the future. Uh, what is the best ones of the two? Honestly, 
if you have other people that is using um, Android messages, they're using that chat features, you might as well use Android messages. If you have people that are not using Android messages, they're not using the chat features just yet, but more than likely they will in the future, you might as well use Samsung messages because it has a little bit more features. The setting of a scheduled text message, checking out all of your information you shared between the two of you, starring the conversations, there's a little bit more happening here. But I do have to say as well, when you go inside of your Samsung keyboard, um, you're gonna have a little bit more options here. So on the, the, the G board, you have stickers and gifts and things like that. Samsung keyboard has all of those as well too. Uh, so this is something you can play with. Switch between the two keyboards and figure out which one you like. So inside the keyboard, you have your emojis, you have your gifts, you have your clipboard, you have your settings, um, your voice to text, and a little bit more features as well to go along with what is happening right here inside of that particular application. But I hope that this has kind of helped you guys out between Samsung messages, Android messages. Uh, maybe let me know in the comments below which one you guys actually use. Uh, but other than that, I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you liked this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video as well. And I'll see you guys later.